ESG is all the rage now. ESG? Never heard of environment, social and governance investing? ESG investing is a term that is often used interchangeably with sustainable investing, socially responsible investing, mission-related investing or screening. But it goes way beyond investing. These non-financial factors play a huge role when deciding whether you want your business to engage with other companies. For instance, is it important to only have socially responsible companies as part of your supply chain? If you care where and how to get products, services, parts, you'll be looking into the ESG ratings of these companies. ESG ratings are calculated by rating agencies, big investment firms, and other specialized companies, and they are making them available on Snowflake Marketplace. Let that sink in. Without the need to import or wrangle any of that data, Snowflake users access live and curated ESG ratings to support them in their decision making. Let's see how easy it is to access an ESG dataset on S&P 500 companies on the Snowflake marketplace. For our ESG investing dashboard, I'll combine the ESG ratings with the historical stock prices of the S&P 500 companies. That's a no-brainer too because there's a dataset available on that on the Snowflake marketplace as well. Now I have the access to the data on my Snowflake account and it literally only cost me a few clicks. One of the best things about the Snowflake marketplace is that I don't have to do anything to keep this data up to date. What? Wait? How? Easy! The data providers are updating their data and pushing it to databases automatically and continuously. This means my dashboard will always remain up to date. Talk about low. Scratch that. No maintenance. Let's sketch how we want the ESG Investment Dashboard app to look on Streamlit. I will have two drop boxes. One is the company name, the other is the industry sector or the region that I'm going to be using as a baseline. Then I have the graph, the bar chart representing this selected baseline. And one of the bars will have a different color showing how the selected company stacks up against the baseline. On the right side, from the bar chart, I'll have the company's ESG rating. And below, I'll have a breakdown of the ESG rating into the three components, E, S, and G. Below that, I'll have a graph showing the historical stock prices for the selected company. Now that we have the wireframe, let's start building the app. You'll find a link to the GitHub repo with a complete app source code below in the description. To read the data from Snowflake, we'll use its Snowpark for Python framework. And this is a perfect fit for Streamlit because Streamlit is a Python native framework and the data model that Streamlit uses is a data frame. That's exactly what Snowpark provides. We'll create a Snowflake session and we'll use session parameters from this JSON file. Next, we'll populate these two dropdowns with the S&P 500 company names and the sector or industry or the region selector. To do that, we'll initiate a data frame from a table with the ESG dataset. We select a column and pass it to Streamlit select box. Notice how I'm using another cool Streamlit feature to control the layout by putting these two dropdowns next to each other columns. Next, we'll populate a chart based on my selection and put the overall ESG rating of the selected company next to it. First, we'll be extending the original data frame SCORE-DF to add new columns with ratings based on the provided ESG scores. The ratings are a non-trivial matter and are prone to interpretation, so different agencies have different methodologies of assigning them. In our example, we'll be using ranges to assign ratings from CCC to AAA. With that, we'll create the next data frame score with ratings DF, which we'll use for the graph. To display the data for the selected company, we'll filter this DF and create from it company data frame. We'll extract a couple of metrics from that data frame and use them for visualization. Then we'll create the aggregated data frame, which will give us the data for the graph. This data frame aggregates data for all companies from the selected industry or region or sector, depending on the user selection in the second Dropbox. To visualize data, we'll work with the Altair library. We'll create a graph, specify the colors, we want the company's rating bar to be orange, and pass the chart to Streamless Altair chart for display. Next to it, we'll call metric to show the company's ESG score. Below the chart, we'll show a breakdown of the ESG scores by using the same metric widget. Next, I'm going to add a line chart to show the company's historical stock prices. We'll create a data frame from the second data set containing stock prices, filter it by the company name, get columns for the chart, 
and pass that stock filtered data frame to Altair. And finally, we'll display the chart by using Altair chart. I'm just going to add a cool title on top and we're done with the app. That's it, it took me only two hours to create an ESG investment dashboard in Streamlit to help companies make socially responsible business decisions. I used Snowflake as a data store and I didn't have to import or wrangle any data. I just used the two free data sets I found on the Snowflake marketplace. I wasn't quite sure if I could turn that initial wireframe into a Streamlit app as is, but Streamlit keeps pleasantly surprising me. The Streamlit community is so big that you can find solutions for any challenge and reach some really advanced goals by building off of other people's work. Thank you Streamlit community, you rock! By the way, do you want to learn more about Streamlit? I've written a series of Medium posts on how to build applications using Streamlit and Snowflake. I'll link them in the description. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, click on like and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Stay healthy and stay tuned.